we're here on our third and final day in the Amazon. Had a much better night's sleep last night. The noises didn't distract us as much. Told today we're headed out to a colonial house and a colonial village. Um, not quite sure what that is yet, but I'm kind of looking forward to it as it's something a bit different again. Uh, but I think by the time today and tonight's done, we'll be very much ready to head back to Rio tomorrow. Anyway, check out today, should be really good fun. sure where we're at but check out some local homes and how they live here in the Amazon yeah should be quite an interesting day more of a cultural day I think than a necessarily an adventure or wildlife spotting oh, papaya tree baby chickens Christmas lunch next week <laughs> this is a plantation for various fruits and veg and they replant it every November that's potato yeah? yeah manioc manioc yeah. it's the yellow manioc you have mm. two kinds the yellow and white the white one you can eat as a potato yeah. and this one only the manioc flower because it's poisonous yeah. if you eat like that if you boil and eat you will have a problem maybe die Ooh. The roast pan for one hour and one hour and a so half. So what? What do you sieve in there? Sorry. The potato. Oh, yeah, the potato, the, right? The potato, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Potato and then they the roast it over there. And we roast over there for one hour, one hour and a half, and then it's ready to eat. All poison evaporate. So the poison's gone then, yeah. Yeah. And then you can eat. Nice. So I've just been looking okay, into okay, the okay. process okay. of okay. manioc okay. potato. I think I pronounced that right. It's quite a process. It's not particularly valuable, but they eat it in a lot of their foods over here, so they do like a breakfast roll, which I might take a picture of tomorrow for you. But um, it's, it's kind of nice, it's sweet and savoury in one, so it starts off a bit savoury and then gets sweeter as you eat it. Even in the jungle, you take your shoes off before you walk in the house. This is a local's house. Pretty basic. Quite interesting. Even in the jungle, people have television. What do we reckon to this basic house then, Joe? Yeah? How's it different to home? <laughs> it's lovely and clean though. So, as it's just the start of the rainy season, this water just here has just come in recently, but it will eventually end up at around this height where this black water mark is um, by the sort of May June time so it's going to rise I reckon another 15 meters which is I suppose being from Britain is something you just don't get your head around that the water is going to rise another 15 meters Ciao. Ciao. We've just been to a local's house how they farm uh, a type of local potato muck Mukpian, was it? Oh, I'm not sure on the name. Um, yellow potato. Yeah, it's a yellow potato and a white one. The yellow one you can't eat, but they do drain the juice out of it. That, sauce, hot yeah, sauce. to make a hot sauce once the poison's been gone. Pretty fascinating, a very simple, stress free life. Looks pretty chill. Not sure I'd like to live there, but I would mind experiencing it. So, in the background up there, that's the little school that we've just been informed. All the primary school children go to. Instead of a school bus, they have a river boat. Or a school boat. <laughs> We've just got caught in our first jungle shower. <laughs> it was literally beaming sunshine less than five minutes ago. And now look at that rain. Woo! Yeah, more. Yeah. Steps. Steps down here, as yeah. you can see. And then, like a, a bridge. Yeah. So there's a there's a, actually an underwater bridge yeah, yeah. down there. Yeah. Wow. So just been informed these steps will all be underwater, and right at the top there, the last yellow step is probably about 15 meters. That's where the water will reach about May June time. It's already gone under here. 
and somewhere out here is a bridge. It shows you how much the water level changes. That's fascinating. In the space of 20 minutes, we've gone from pouring rain to look beautiful sunshine. Absolutely amazing. We have another rainstorm. Rainy season is in full effect, so when we go out on the boat in the next 10 minutes, we'll have to switch to the GoPro. So the rainy season, as I said, is in full effect. It's absolutely peeing with rain. We've been joined by Micah for this afternoon's trip. She's here for the next three days. We're now going upstream, and we might do some swimming, especially if we'll be wet anyway. <laughs> You're a little bit cold and wet, honey. Not cold, just, just wet. wet. Apparently, this is a shortcut. Too shallow. We are still getting wet at the moment. Been out here for about an hour and 20 minutes now. Spotted some pretty interesting animals, some otters, a massive anteater and uh, plenty of birds and some caimans. So, <laughs> I don't think I've ever been this wet. My hands look like I'm 90. Look at that! That's bad, isn't it? Joe, compare mine and yours. See, Joe's aren't too bad. My, my, hands, my hands make me look like I'm 90. The rain has aged me. Bit of a review of day three here at the lodge. This morning we went out and see a colonial house, which was kind of cool. Um, I was quite impressed with how they live here on the Amazon in the jungle. Then we had some downtime as usual. And then this afternoon we went out wildlife spotting upstream through like loads of jungle trees and stuff like that. And so shallow we had to get the paddles out because we couldn't use the motor. Um, we spotted some good wildlife, some toucans some otters, uh, an anteater, caiman uh, and various other birds and spiders and things so it was pretty awesome to see all that. It rained from start to finish and I don't think I've ever been so wet in all my life. Anyway we're going to tuck into a couple of special cocktails that our host is uh, making us right now and then we're going to enjoy the evening. We've got a uh, we've we've got a companion for the evening, so a German girl's travelling on her own for three weeks. Passion fruit Campari. Go on then, Joe. What do we think of the? Uh, lush. Lush. <coughs> oh. Let's just smack it. Oh. <laughs> so. Just enjoyed uh, an evening with our uh, tour guide this evening, Helga. He was telling us about some of his jungle stories from some of the trips he's done. We played some games of pool and had a few beers. It's now time for bed on our last night here in the jungle. Uh, we've got an early start before we head back to Rio. We've got a full day of travelling tomorrow, but we are looking forward to going back to the beaches of Rio. Mm -hmm. 